in preparation for my return to in-person client meetings and support, as well as on-site delivery, I am reviewing what's in my bag for 2021 after almost a year of my rucksack sitting on the floor in my home office. So what will I see as being the priority items for my bag as an environmental consultant? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at the important items that I consider necessary for my role as an environmental consultant, as I consider a return or near return to the delivery of my services directly to my clients through in-person interactions such as on-site meetings, training and audits that have been severely restricted during the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the past year, and yes, it has been 12 months since the UK first declared its COVID-19 lockdown, my delivery to my clients has followed a remote or virtual delivery model, primarily with conference platforms such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams and Skype to support my clients. This virtual model has worked well for the delivery of client mentoring and coaching, training sessions and remote audits, but less so for pollution incidents where there is so much interaction required that I attended these events directly with the relevant social distancing, PPE and other biosecure working practices. Now that the UK Prime Minister and Government have signposted a roadmap for the lifting of restrictions and greater client interest in re-energising their environmental and sustainability commitments, now is the right time for preparing for those greater in-person engagements with my clients. So, let's take a look at my bag and its contents. I have a Samsonite bag which has a clean finish with no visible external pockets and it looks smart in most situations. And with three zippered compartments is security conscious with all the valuable contents sealed inside the bag. The bag can be worn on both shoulders to distribute the weight evenly or carried using a handle on top of the bag depending on the requirements. A front compartment has enough space for carrying pens, business cards, public transport cards, credit cards and small accessories. The middle compartment offers a generous storage space and the rear compartment is padded on all sides and suits a laptop up to 15 inches. So, what have I selected as the important items for my bag for 2021? First up is my COVID-19 pack with sanitizer, gloves and several face masks, including my preferred mask, which is a K995 CE, with the all-important CE marking to differentiate it from cheap copies that have not been fully tested to meet the relevant conformity requirements. After my COVID-19 protection pack, I have a 13-inch Dell laptop, which is both lightweight at 1.31 kilograms and packs a powerful Intel i7 processor and mobile graphics. It also includes a one gigabyte solid state drive for faster reading and writing of my documents and data, and 16 gigabytes of RAM memory for intensive tasks. A special feature of this laptop is the fingerprint recognition, which is an added security feature. A bonus tip is to specify that your laptop has Windows 10 Pro installed to benefit from the BitLocker security, which will encrypt 
the contents of your internal drive to ensure that the files are not read by anyone else, either on your laptop or if they remove the internal drive and try reading it on another device. My laptop has Microsoft 365 installed, covering Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint and OneDrive, with each software application performing important aspects of my environmental consultancy, such as writing client presentations and reports using Word, keeping up to date with emails and appointments with Outlook, using Excel for recording energy and carbon data for analysis, proposal presentations and training slide decks in PowerPoint, and OneDrive to ensure that my important documents are synchronised into the cloud and acting as a short-term backup. The laptop charger and an extra long 3 meter cable allows me to use my laptop in most rooms even if the power socket is not close to my working area. A USB-C hub allows for the connection of USB drives, SD memory cards and HDMI for presentations to remain backward compatible with client PCs and other devices. Usually I take an Apple iPad Pro as a separate device for viewing ISO standards, legislation and guidance. This Apple device is complemented by a keyboard and pencil to allow it to be used as a backup computer should my primary laptop fail. Not a likely situation, but it gives me greater confidence that I can continue to work in most situations. A tech pouch keeps all my computer and phone leads and smaller accessories in one place. In the pouch today, I have stored a Samsung 2 gigabyte solid state drive, which is lightweight and portable and is going to be used for on-site backups. And a battery power pack for keeping my smartphone or iPad fully charged, even when I'm unable to connect to mains electricity. Next up is my Jabra in-ear headphones, which offer great sound quality and can last for up to four hours on a single charge, enough for even the longest Zoom call. A key feature of these headphones is that they can be charged in their case, which means that they're always ready for use. I always carry a small and lightweight Sony camera, which allows me to take higher resolution photos and video to supplement my on-site notes and to add content to this YouTube channel. An important consideration is how I remain hydrated during my working day. So I carry a small insulated bottle with cold water so that I can complete most journeys or meetings without having to stop and buy a less sustainable plastic water bottle. Smaller but no less important items are an anti-static cleaning cloth for cleaning my laptop or iPad screen and a cloth shopping bag in case I need to carry additional items back from my meetings. So that's the contents of my bag as an environmental consultant in 2021, covering my immediate needs under the current COVID-19 pandemic, as well as being lightweight and able to carry all the equipment that I need for my main work as an environmental and sustainability consultant. Further information with links to all the products that I have in my bag are given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Please share your comments on the contents of my bag and whether I missed anything off of my list that you carry for your environmental work in the comments box below. And please like this episode if this episode has helped you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this channel, please click on the link to the left. Thank you.